Hey there, happy new year. A lot of people try to quit smoking around the new year. So I just wanted to give you guys the heads up on the stats around stopping smoking around the new year because there's some good news and there's some bad news. The bad news is according to the Royal Study of Health, only 4% of people who try to quit smoking at new years are actually successful. Yikes. And within the first week of trying to stop, more than a third of those people are failing that attempt. Now, that sounds bad, right? But the thing is, most of these people do not have their mind in the right place. And you are gonna have your mind in the right place because in this video, I'm gonna share with you the three mind hacks that I think are key to stopping smoking for good and really putting it behind you. And if this is your new year, then this is your new year. My name is Rita Black. I'm a clinical hypnotherapist and I am an expert in helping people stop smoking. I've been, I've helped over about 10,000 people over the last 20 years become non-smokers. And um, I am a former pack and a half a day smoker. So I know a lot about trying to quit smoking on New Year's. Now, one of the things that gets in the way of actually stopping on New Year's is New Year's is a really kind of a weird day. It's kind of stressful. You know, it's the beginning of the end of something, the beginning of something else. And that's why a lot of people think, oh, it's the perfect time. But the problem with it is, is usually we're partying on December 31st. Maybe we have a lot to drink and we're waking up the next morning and it's the new year. You know, we've been busy, really stressed out with the holidays. I mean, it's fun too, but there's a lot of stress around the holidays. And then all of a sudden it's the new year and having to live up to all these expectations. And on top of that, and on top of being a little hungover, we've made this big commitment to stop smoking and we maybe don't even feel that good. And so I think the actual stopping on New Year's Day might be a bit of a challenge. So I'm all for stopping around the new year, but I am not sure that stopping on actually January 1st is probably the best idea for you. So here's what you want to do. You want to set a date and actually work up to it. And maybe it's a date around the first, but it's a date that has significance to you. Maybe it's a Saturday and you can take the time to really relax. It's not a harried work day, or maybe it is a work day and you feel like that's the best day for you because you have the structure of your work day, but you want to make that day yours, not, oh, everybody is quitting smoking on the first. So I should do that too. That's the worst reason to quit smoking. You really want to own your commitment to stopping smoking. Now, the other thing is you want to practice being a non-smoker before you actually stop smoking. And what I mean by that is really, you know, when athletes go out to a game, they have the play in mind. They have a vision of what they're going to do before they do it. It's in their mind. It's in their imagination. And a lot of times what happens is when we try to quit smoking, we aren't even thinking about what happens as we fall into the situation. Then we're all like, I can't function without my cigarettes because we're feeling the lack of cigarettes versus being a non-smoker. So when we think about it from shifting from smoker to a non-smoker, it shifts the mind in a different way than it's not about taking away, it's about creating something new. Your subconscious mind um, has your imagination in it. And your subconscious mind is a huge part of your mind. Usually only consciously we want to quit smoking. Our subconscious mind has our habits and our beliefs. <clears throat> and, you know, we might believe quitting smoking is really hard and we might be in the habit of smoking 20 cigarettes a day. So we want to engage our imagination, which is also in our subconscious mind and really start to imagine what it would be like to wake up in the morning as a non-smoker and how great that would feel and to uh, finish a meal as a non-smoker and to, um, you know, uh, go to a party and not have to go outside and come back and worry if people are smelling the smoke on you. As a non-smoker, you want to think those situations through ahead of time. And that really does help you get your game on for becoming a non-smoker. Uh, think about how great you will feel. I'm going to get into that in a second as well. But so you want to set a date and you want to practice that in your mind. Now, the second one is huge. So let me get into that. So 
you want to shift the your cigarettes or your vape from the buddy place in your mind to the bully place in your mind right see we when you think of people in your life um, you probably have friends and maybe you have some people you don't like so much hopefully not many but your friends live in a different part of your brain than your enemies and also interestingly when we smoke we put our cigarettes in the same place in, in our brain as our friends and our family that's why we think of it as a relationship which you probably do you probably think of it as your friend or your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your you know your long companion because for a lot of people this relationship has been one of the longest relationships they've had in their life and i totally get that my cigarettes used to be my bff but I'm sure you've had a relationship in your life where you put that person on the pedestal and then one day you, you woke up and they, you could see them in a different light. And when you think about your relationship with cigarettes, yeah, I'm sure you've had some great times together. And I'm not denying the fact that probably cigarettes have been there for you at times when you felt like you need them as a crutch, you know, back in your 20s and, you know, and, and, you know, even maybe recently, but here's the thing that cigarettes ultimately are an abuser, right? If you think of an abusive friend, what friend makes you leave your warm and comfy home in the middle of the winter to go outside and stand in the freezing cold, you know, to smoke? Hey, get out there and smoke. You know, when you think of cigarettes as a personality, it's an abusive personality. Abusive people make the abusee feel like they can't live without them. There honestly was a time that you didn't need a cigarette for anything. And then the moment you started smoking, they started to steal your power away from you. Oh, I need this now to wake up in the morning. Now I need this to finish a meal. Now I need this to calm down. There were many years prior to starting smoking that you calmed yourself down as a non-smoker, that you finished meals as a non-smoker, that you laughed and played and engaged with people as a non-smoker. You have that all within you now, but you started smoking and the cigarette started to say, ah, you need me to do that and then you need me to do that and now i need to take your money from you because what friend takes all your money right a lot of money every day they come to you and they say give me ten dollars and you know so that we can go outside and stand in the cold you know give me ten dollars so that you can go smell when you come back and worry have to worry about how what other people are thinking of you give me ten dollars so that you can choke yourself with smoke and worry if this is going to be the thing that kills you you know what friends really does that that's really actually an aggressive a person <laughs> that has no place in your life it's a toxic relationship and so you want to start to shift that idea of cigarettes as your buddy and your friend and your companion to like the sleazy used car salesman that it is and be like, I don't need you anymore. Get the hell out of my life. We're done. This relationship is finito and get the hell out and go be free. Okay. Lose the loser. You're not the loser. The cigarettes or the vape is. And you want to commit to the non-smoking you. This is a new year and this is an opportunity for the new you. I really see becoming a non-smoker as an evolution forward because not just of your health, but because of your freedom and this whole thing that we just talked about, this power. When you get your power back, when you truly decide to be a non-smoker and you get your power back from cigarettes, you feel awesome. You have your confidence. You can breathe deeply. You aren't worried all the time because you're killing yourself with the cigarettes or the vaping. You're not a slave to something else. You have your power. And I want you to imagine that you out in your life with the wind blowing through your hair. Come on, let's, this is like the Hollywood movie, right? Of you with the wind blowing through your hair, well lit, you know, walking on the mountain or uh or or running on the beach or um having a great time at a party and just like glowing with health and feeling awesome and feeling good because you've stepped into that powerful you taken your power back and you are moving forward on your beautiful life 
in the new year as a non-smoker. All right? So set a date and practice. Shift that idea of cigarettes or your vape from the buddy to the bully. Lose the loser. Lose that number. And commit to the fabulous non-smoking you this new year. And you will find that you can move forward and be a happy, healthy non-smoker this year. All right. Happy New Year. Health and safety to you and all you love. Hey there. And while you're having a happy new year, join me in my free masterclass, how to quit smoking without cravings, withdrawal, or weight gain, or maybe it's the other way around, how to quit smoking without withdrawal, cravings, or weight gain. But whatever way it is, it's an amazing masterclass where we really look at how to get out of the, get rid of the mental roadblocks that get in the way when we try to quit smoking. And those are the things that make us feel like we're going crazy, like we're missing cigarettes and everything. Lose all of that stuff and just make that commitment to being a happy, healthy non-smoker. Join me in my free masterclass. I look forward to seeing you there and helping you make this new year your non-smoking new year.